have a game for you this afternoon between Korea and Croatia. And it is a game that will help decide the destiny of the medals in this tournament. Both of these teams are guaranteed a medal, but we don't yet know which colour. It could be gold, silver or bronze. We will find out today. Really quick goal here. We have the opening goal. It's a Croatian goal. Straight from the face-off. What a start. And Croatians keeping their gold medal hopes alive. Whatever the result here, Lithuania can claim gold and go back above whoever wins this. Yeah, they'll have but a lot. Now, Britain have got a real incentive to beat Lithuania. Yeah, they've got a, you know, Lithuania is there for them to take, but as you said, is as the tournament unfolds, there's lots of little twists and stories that happen that can affect every game. Opportunity and a goal taken by Kim Ye-jun, the leveller for Korea. So off the outside, the Korea player, you know, you get the Croatian bench, you know, the coach, not, not happy at all on that play. Korea have been very disciplined in there, and their four checks through the neutral ice, they play a deep 2-3 with the centerman dropping back deeper on that play. The winger switched off, and number 10 for Korea just gone on the outside. You cannot give him, you know, any space, and clearly he got it bang. Croatia threatening. Oh, Stancic played a little cheeky one off the pads as he snuck out in front. And now Kim across to the far side. Drop back, here's Choi. Everyone's calling for the pass, but there's no way to get it to them. There were white shirts in the way of every option. Now moving it out front, this is an opportunity on the back, and they scored! Korea take the lead. It slides along the line and in. And the goal is Kim Ye-jun's. He's been a big goal. He's been the, he's been the key man for Korea in this game. Korean law for opportunity. He's been quiet. Their past two games, but if you swap numbers between number nine and ten, you would have a similar type of player. Bit of a mad scramble in front of the Croatian net. Daniel Palumbo, the, the Croatian goal, the Croatian coach, not happy at all. Gioni takes a deflection. Gioni's first to react to it. Halfway, halfway point of this game. Jakob at the point. Switches it across. Oh, Kegal just let it slide to the boards. Back to Milicic behind the net. Yarkov waits at the point. Sent across. Oh, it's been kicked in. I thought it came off the defenceman. Looked like it came off the skates of Lee, but Gioni is claiming it. But the power play goal will stand at 2-2. Regardless of it came off the defenceman, or I think it did come off the defenceman's skate on that play, but what they did was excellent execution from the, from the Croatian team. They worked it down low. They their big body, puts it back in front of the net. What he did, he just occupies bodies, and by doing that, he pulls the Korean defenseman out, out of the middle of the ice. The Croatian forward just stepped right in, and bang, put it in the back of the net. There's Yarkov. Song. A little bit of room on the right side. Shot loops up in the air. Oh, it's uh, gone in and it's a disaster for Rosandic. Song's shot and Rosandic saved it up into the air and he couldn't locate it and it dropped behind him and just over the line. That shot, pretty much, Rosanich is going to make that save all the time. But on this occasion, you just lost sight of it. But again, before you get there, the, Kore the Croatian defense, they can't back in like that. You give a team like that space, they're going to take advantage of it. Jovic for Kopricanec, off the board for Yarkov. Oh, good burst from Yarkov. He's taken down. Play will continue with Milicic. Cuts in, and the Seo makes the save. It's a little burst of speed from Yarkov. Made the difference, the puck will get away from the Croatians, the whistle will go. And Croatia have their route back into this game. And the Koreans are getting a little angry again, Lee Jae-min is getting himself into more bother than he really needs to right now. And he gets into the penalty box and he throws his stick down. And he's joined by Lee Tae-ho. Yarkov. Just playing pitch and catch at the moment. So they're not pulling Korea out of position. Boric. Now Kejal. Now there's room. Big shot into the stomach of Seo. 
Kegel. Plesko brings it in, moving in. His shot is blocked by Seo, and Seo falls forward and freezes the puck. At the end of this game is dependent upon them winning in regulation. They're not far away, but they're not there yet. Gioni, Milicic. Trying to hold off Cho. Come round to the far side and Yarkov. Boric waits at the blue line. Going to try and work it down low. Pavicevic lets it run to Milicic. Croatia can't fashion the puck into a position where they can get a shot away at the moment. Kim round the boards. Oh, Boric, it's got past him. This could be trouble. This could be curtains. Song scores. And Korea will go top of the table and claim at least the silver medal. You can't blame him for his confidence. He's come up with two big goals for Korea in this game. Croatia. Croatia will still pick up the bronze medal. Martinec from long range. Seo kicks it away. Time expires. And now Korea have to play the waiting game. They'll go top of the table. Referee not happy, just down below us with Paul Janovic. There's going to be any afters from that. But Korea are winners today. Croatia have a bronze medal to show for their efforts. The final score here from the Dumfries Ice Bowl, Korea 4, Croatia 2.